because the outside world rejects you. Hey, what's up, Turtle fans? Quick video today. As many of you know, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and the Ninja Turtles are getting a crossover comic this December. Although the Power Rangers in Space and the Next Mutation Turtles had a crossover episode back in the day, this is the first time the iconic Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and the Ninja Turtles will cross over. In the past couple days, some first looks and some variant covers of the upcoming comic have been shown, and I want to go over some of that, and might as well let's have a look at the Turtles as well, and what they're going to look like in this comic, and all that good stuff. Real quick, if you're new to the channel, and you want Ninja Turtles updates like this in your life, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that's all we do here. Okay, so some of the variant covers have been revealed, as you can see, there's one for each turtle holding Jason's Red Ranger helmet. These covers look like a cool nod to previous Power Rangers comic book covers around the Shattered Grid storyline. You can also see different colored headbands hanging down for each of the turtles, and each turtle has their hand positioned a bit differently. Now we also got a cool look at a few different panels, as this catalog seems to preview some pages of the actual book. One page has the Power Rangers, and it seems to be day themed, while the turtles have their own page and displays them out at night. They seem to be in very similar situations and are placed almost in the same positions as each other. I like that they have that opposite thing going on, one being day and one being night. The Power Rangers are shown fighting some putties and monsters like they're known for. Meanwhile, the turtles seem to be taking on the Foot Clan. Now, the designs of the turtles are always a big deal to me and I know they are to many of you as well. So let's break down their look in this comic. In my opinion, these designs look pretty awesome. I like the overall look. Each turtle has some unique qualities, so let's go over them one turtle at a time real fast. Leo appears to have the diagonal strap that he's known for on his belt. You can see it on this back shot of him. He does sort of have like a classic Ninja Turtles headband, but this one is a bit different. It goes about halfway up his head and just stops. I'm digging it though, it looks well. They pulled it off in my opinion. It's like an in-between like the pirate style and the classic style headband. Raph's headband looks a lot more like the classic Ninja Turtle style, though he does have these two pointy parts on each side of the nose area that look similar to the Batman Turtles crossover comics version of Raphael. Now Donnie has the diagonal strap as well like Leo, which is also a thing he's known for in previous iterations. Donnie's headband is a bit like Leo's, but it has this part in the middle where it dips down and Mikey's kind of looks like the classic style headband, but wider. Overall, I think these changes are neat. They're not too drastic of changes, but it gives each turtle their own uniqueness. I like it. If you notice, all the turtles are wearing brown leather colored belts, but the knee, elbow, and ankle straps, looks like they've added ankle straps to this version of the turtles, are the individual colors of each of the brothers, which is also a nice touch. And also, they all have their initials on their buckles with the background of the letter, being each turtle's color as well. Now let's take a look at what's actually going on in the turtles panel. They appear to be coming down and fighting the foot, who also look great by the way. Mikey and Donnie are taking out some foot soldiers and Raph and Leo are fighting back to back handling some as well. The next panel's work gets interesting, but let me read you the, the first part of the synopsis real quick, just to kind of set it up for you. The Power Rangers arrive in New York City to find Tommy Oliver, AKA the Mighty Morphin Green Ranger, but soon discovered he's joined forces with the villainous Shredder and the Foot Clan. So this kind of sets up the next panel as it starts off with Raphael fighting a couple of foot soldiers. When one that seems to be a little bit more skilled than the others appears to kick Raph in the face pretty good, even knocking Raph's sigh out of his hand. The foot soldier appears to look an awful lot like Tommy Oliver, the Green Ranger. It appears that they're about to go at each other, but this is where the comic preview ends. This looks great. Uh, the details on the front of the catalog read that it'll be on sale December 4th and that it'll be $4.99 and that it'll have 32 pages. And it reads, Teenagers with Attitude and the Heroes in a Half Shell meet for the first time. What do you guys think? Are you guys going to pick this one up? Are you liking it? What are you possibly not liking? Let me know down below. I'm personally a big fan of obviously the Turtles and also the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the, the very first ones, the original group. And I like the tone that they've set so far. It seems like it's got some good action. I feel like they found the right tone for this crossover, it seems like, at least with what's been shown so far. But that's it on this one, guys. Just gonna keep it short. Wanted to show you guys this Power Rangers Ninja Turtles crossover information that's been coming out. There's some more Ninja Turtle stuff to talk about, so stay tuned. Gonna be covering all that stuff. Keep it here on the Turtle Den, and I'll see you guys in a little bit with another video. Take care.
Hey Turtle fans, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow me on all the social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's a good way to stay in touch with the channel. And also if you want, go ahead and give the video a share on your social media platforms, Reddit, Twitter, all that stuff. And let's spread turtle mania to the world. Once again, thanks everyone for watching. It really does mean a lot.